Greetings YouTube and welcome to my channel. We are on day number nine of our fast. Praise God, praise God. I've been feeling affliction in my body where I am um, have felt hungry. I felt um, very, very tired and without energy and Really, in the morning, it's kind of hard for me to get up because I'm just I'm lacking energy. But I I thank God for that. That's the feeling that we want. We want to feel afflicted because any time in the Bible when um, the children of Israel were afflicted, that's when God would answer prayer and He would bless them. So, um, if you want scriptures on fasting, the best place to do that is BibleGateway.com. Some of you may know that site, BibleGateway. Excuse me. BibleGateway.com. You just go in there and pick whatever version you want. But I chose the King King James version, and I put in the word fast, and it gives you all the forms of fast, fast, fastened, fasting, fast. And so you want to go through and read the the kind of the context of the scripture and see if it's talking about fasting. But every single scripture that talked about fasting that I read talked about it being you know a solemn fast. Um, I mean, they were not necessarily planned fast. They were like, no, we need to hear from God. We fasted now. And that's how a fast should be. Um, but when they fasted, God would answer. So I'm telling you, when you afflict your body, that's when he moves. So we're not going to do this. If you're not suffering, you need to suffer in your body. You need to show God that, hey, God, I'm willing to push back my plate to get what you have for me. And I'm telling you, I am so excited. God is beginning to, he's, well, I'm not going to say he's beginning to move. He's been moving, but he's even moving in my church. Thank God there are people who are thinking about fasting and they know that we have to do this. They know we have to do this. And so um, I'm excited about that. Um, another thing, I'm going to step into a new phase of my fast. I'm going to... Um, Tomorrow's day number 10. So I have, I think, two oranges left and I'm going to have um, a glass of orange juice. And I'll probably put a little bit of cranberry juice in there because I just cannot do that cranberry juice. But it is good for you. It's good for you. Um, but uh, for the next 10 days after uh, day number 10 on day number 11, I'm going to do a 10 day water fast, a 10 day water fast. And I did buy some lemon, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to infuse it with some lemons and probably um, occasionally some food grade hydrogen peroxide, just a few drops because that stuff, if you put too many drops, um, you have to build up to it actually, because what happens with that hydrogen peroxide, that food grade is it goes in and it'll start killing things that are not supposed to be there. And I'm excited because um, I'm at the stage where I think that um, since there's no food in me and I'm not taking food, uh, that's this is a good time to take that. So I'll probably do a 10-day water fast, see how that goes. And if I'm going strong, because I'd like to get to water, I'll probably do another 10 days and maybe add the food-grade hydrogen peroxide or switch it off these next two days. The other thing I did was I did order myself some Cascara Sagrada, but this time I ordered it in drop form, like a liquid form. I've not had it like that, but I'm going to put it in capsules because I'm telling you that is something that does not taste good. But when it's in liquid form, it assimilates into your body a whole lot faster. It gets into your cells. So I've never had this form of it. I usually take the powdered version, but I'm going to take Senna and I'm going to take the liquid version of the Cascara Sagrada because remember, I want to get all that sludge out of my intestines and I want to move that stuff through my colon because as you have that stuff sitting in your intestines, when it's on your walls, it begins to leak toxins back into your um, body. And that's where sickness and disease is at. It's in your gut. And so we want to clean that stuff out. Um, let's see here. God has been um, doing some amazing things. So um, Sunday, there was a guy at church who wanted to do, um, you know, as we're talking for Sunday school, he wanted to do a food ministry, you know, be able to show people where to get resources. And we're talking about it. Well, it just so happened a couple of days later, I ran into a food resource where there's a ministry here near me and it's called Free Food Ministries. And they have so much food that they get from grocery stores, from different places that prepare food, that the food is coming up. They haven't been able to sell it. It's coming up on expiration, but it's still good food. They've been throwing that stuff away. Well, this food ministry has been saying, hey, we'll take it and we'll pass it out to people and we'll consume it quickly. 
But they've been getting so much food and they didn't have enough people taking it that they've been throwing sandwiches away and food away all the time. I'm like, what? Do you know how many people are out there with no food? So I'm excited. So today I got, I was able to get a number of sandwiches and food and take it to a few families and pass out to people. But there are so many homeless people in the city and uh, they they need food and and so I'm going to start getting that food and getting just filling my car up and just driving around and passing out sandwiches maybe a couple times a week but they get the sandwiches every day so just out of fasting God is just opening doors and just giving answers to things you know through me and I'm just thanking God for that I'm thanking Him for it but I know His plan is for us to help each other. But anyway, let's keep fasting. If those of you are just now um, catching uh, on, it's not too late to start. I'm going to do a full 40 days and some people are going to do 21 days and some people are going to do 40. But we're basically doing herbal tea, orange juice. Uh, I added cranberry juice a couple days ago because I need to de de detox my liver, my, my kidney and my urinary tract because those are good. To do, but cranberry juice, 100% cranberry juice, no nothing else added to it. It's very bitter, but it's good for you. And I have a hard time um, swallowing it. Um, and then now I'm going to move into a new phase on day 11. So tomorrow I will still have my last ju uh, glass of uh, orange juice, but I will add um, go to water for the next 11 days. And so you guys out there, you're helping me to stay strong because. As I'm doing this, I'm telling you, I'm like you, I'm having dreams of food. <laughs> I have, I still have to prepare food for the kid that lives here with me. And I'm around people who have to eat. When I go to church, they eat, but I'm not tempted by that food. But I'll tell you, I'm having dreams about food and visions about food. And, oh, I can't wait to get to food, but that's not bothering me. I'm too, I'm well past that. So the enemy's not tempting me with food. It's not going to work. So he can send it. And yeah, I'll look, uh, I don't want it. Because when I look at my blessings, I'm like, I would much rather have the blessings of God than to eat. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going strong. And so thank you for the support. I love all the comments. You know, I, let, let me know what's going on in your life and the blessings that God has for you and how you're feeling. Hopefully you're at the afflicted stage and you're feeling great too. Okay. Take care and I'm going to sign off. Bye-bye.